Hi, how are all of you? Thank you very much for joining me for the last session on, uh, you know, for the Insta Live series of Doctors for Good Health. Today we have someone very, very special with us. Uh, we have Dr. Dilip Narkardi. Anyone who has anything to do with health, fitness, wellness, well-being, is aware of his massive work, also knows how well he can talk about something as boring maybe as uh, bones and joints and health and stuff like that so for all of the, you know for all of you who are troubled with their sciatica back pain knee pain uh, neck pains uh, or simply all of the pains that come out of wfh here's me and i'm sending a request to dr dilip nadkarni to join us he's going to be joining us really soon he also sings very well, in fact. So maybe to have time, we'll ask him to sing a song for us. So, Doc, while... Uh, oh, hi, how are you? Hello, Rujita. <laughs> hi, thank you, and thank you for joining us. It's really nice to see you after all of these years. Uh, pleasure is mine. <laughs> well, I have the unique distinction of being the model on uh, one of Dilip Nadkarni's first books. Now, Doc, your uh, the knee problem, no problem. I think that's what the book was called. Yes, yes. yes. And uh, what a supermodel you've been who <laughs> walks the talk. And, but thank uh, you, Doc. Super. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, uh, without wasting any time, because I know that you're short on time, first of all, thank you very much for taking this time out for us. But uh, the first question that I have for you is that, uh, you know, you've always said that knee surgeries can be prevented. And uh, as an orthopedic surgeon, why are you in favor of, uh, of people preventing surgeries? I mean, you know, isn't that a paradox right there? Yeah, when I wrote this book, How to Avoid Knee Surgery, a lot of my junior colleagues said, So chuhe khake ab billi haj pe chali. <laughs> Sir, hamari bhi kuch socho, you know. But you remember, Rujita, we started the Fit India movement way back in 1994, where yes. Mr. Amitabh Bachchan came and uh, inaugurated it. And yes. do you know that uh, even now when I walk on Carter Road, I meet people who give me dua. Because of that event, we started walking and uh, we are fit and we have avoided so many problems, you know, in life. So prevention is better than cure, old adage. But I'm seeing it with my own eyes that youngs are going for knee surgery. They come to me and say, what should we do? so that we don't fall in that category for surgery. Mm -hmm. And uh, they listen because they've seen their parents suffer and they don't want the same plight. True, true. Oh, this is so, wonderful uh, life. And when it happens close to home, like my son uh, had a knee injury while playing football uh, and I really wanted uh, the non-surgical option. So how can I be so selfish that I don't want to do surgery on my son and I want to do surgery on the rest of the world? Wow, that's really so, good. We really need more doctors like you. <laughs> yep. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. I cut you short. You were saying something. Uh, no, I was on the same track. And um, uh, in prevention, like uh, mm -hmm. we have people who uh, don't do exercises correctly and then have a slip disc. Now, if Correct. the community is educated on the correct form in exercise, mm -hmm. uh, the right do's and don'ts, uh, we will have lesser people who will come into the operation theater, but more people who will give us dua that, uh, you know, in surgery, I can treat only one person at a time. But right. when we spread awareness in the community, I can treat millions of people in that same time frame. You know? Oh, wow. Lovely, lovely. What a noble uh, thought. Uh, you know, the other question that I had for you is, do you find a difference between uh, treating people who have had an injury because of their workout, uh, you yeah. know, or who have a knee or a back problem because they were playing something and, uh, you know, because of their activity versus uh, 
treating people who are having back issues knee issues that come out of inactivity or very simply or sedentary lifestyle do you see a marked difference in the way you treat them or in their um, ability to heal yes. and recover absolutely see when i see a slim person on my operation table i know i have a winner okay <laughs> on the other hand on the other hand a person with comorbidities obesity if i'm doing the same surgery on that person i know i've got a tough post op recovery because mm. the raw material in my hand of people who are exercising uh, is totally different from the people who are yet to exercise once right. they come in touch with me and we have mm. done the surgery they cannot escape exercise <laughs> because Good. most uh, of my colleagues i've seen they say exercise karo nahi to aapko ye problem hoga wo problem hoga mm -hmm. i tell them come for a walk with me let's enjoy the walk and see the elixir and happiness which exercise gives you and they become exercise not uh, maniacs but uh, definitely addicted to some sort of exercise once they taste the pleasure of exercise so the exercising person definitely recovers faster a calm person who has great faith in the doctor he or she also heals better because the mind is stress free they have faith in the doctor and we are doing a good job they follow the instructions without a doubt in their mind so those stress chemicals are not there in their mind and the recovery so small things are big when it comes to post operative recovery or even recovering from injury where we are treating them with physiotherapy and medicines so definitely Absolutely. your question that the exercising person is definitely a better person uh, to uh, heal that's why we start something called a prehab program prehab oh, now nice. if it's rehab after surgery if mm -hmm. my patient is waiting for a ligament surgery and for some reason we have to do it maybe after a month mm -hmm. i put him with a physiotherapist a trainer so that the knee muscles the quadriceps hamstrings calf muscles are now well trained and ready for the surgical uh, procedure and the post op recovery so prehab has a great so very good question i want a fit person so i'm sure all the people who are on this channel right now they are your followers and they are definitely into a fitness lifestyle well i hope i hope that they are you know just one second all right that's you know you're right i i really like what you said about being calm and trusting your uh, doctor you know you uh, you even call yourself calm guru or you uh, written about calm <laughs> so can you tell us about that uh, yes um i've written a book which uh, has a title calm sutra c a l m calm sutra and uh, it is again there are people with back aches there are people with knee pains you do an mri you examine them clinically and don't find anything which is organically wrong hmm. then you find out that this person is highly stressed the stress hormones which are circulating can not only make them have bad postures a constant frown muscle spasms but we have seen organic damage to the cartilage because of stress in their system so wow. kam sutra uh, is a very simple formula which each one has to adopt and your kam sutra may be different from mine mine mm -hmm. could be music and golf uh, yours could be exercise breathing yoga mm -hmm. uh, weight training so mm -hmm. if most of us let's start from the top that is a shant mind a calm mind begets a healthy body so uh, let's not uh, you know uh, make a division between the mind and the body uh, holistically even after surgery or during surgery when the person is wheeled in for anesthesia mm -hmm. the person's heart is beating fast the mm -hmm. breathing is shallow mm -hmm. and we do simple things like come on relax take a deep breath 
you want to say om you want to say kaam and we have seen the heart rate drop the respiration becomes regular and patient is actually smilingly giving himself to us for the anesthesia and the procedure <laughs> that's really wonderful because that was also one of my questions you know that a lot of people with back aches actually don't see anything on their mri which stresses them even more ke okay, mri mein bhi kuch nahi hai to kya problem hai so you really think that it's just about uh, de-stressing leading a good lifestyle unwinding and that can actually uh, get rid of pain is that what you're saying uh, i uh, it may not uh, heal a fracture uh, or uh, you know repair a cartilage by itself but right. definitely a backache which is caused by constant muscle frowning like we frown at our forehead mm-hmm. just imagine the back muscle is frowning all the time with a bad mm-hmm. posture mm-hmm. due to stress you know those things can definitely with uh, simple yoga stretches deep breathing and something which i have introduced called the swar meditation the kam sutra nice. swar meditation nice. so i put on the tan- tanpura loop and make them mm. oh beautiful and when you do it in a group it's magical and people you know say that oh where is the stress it's just disappeared amazing amazing that's really nice now when we're talking about stress women also seem to have much more stress uh, than uh, men uh, yeah. are our bones and joints also at a bigger risk as compared to men and what can we do uh, you know to prevent bone mineral losses is there Correct. anything that we need to do yes. specifically for our gender? yeah nobody encourages gender discrimination but unfortunately <laughs> when it comes to osteoporosis osteopenia uh, we have to take sides male and female you know? right, uh, right men are uh, protected to a large extent mm-hmm. as women as they enter the perimenopausal time of their life and the estrogens drop the bone synthesis suffers so when it's very mild where the bone becomes brittle because the calcium as well as the protein matrix of the bone reduces the mm. bone density drops and we have a case of osteopenia mm. which mm. is a little milder version of what is osteoporosis mm. Mm. osteoporosis gives us risks of fractures mm. the people the ladies who come with just a small uh, tumble and they mm-hmm. put their outstretched hand to protect themselves break the radius bone or the wrist bone now just imagine our cricketers are diving all the time landing on their hands nothing happens but yeah, a lady yeah. in her 60s has a small tumble a fall and uh, we have a, a break of the lower end of radius bone it's a yeah. break or yeah. uh, an 80 year old lady who slips and falls breaks her hip bone Mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. when do we start educating the ladies about osteoporosis and osteopenia is not when they reach menopause we have to guide them counsel them when they are actually in their teens so that right. they develop a healthy lifestyle like when i say you can avoid knee surgery i'm not mm-hmm. talking about the people who are already suffering from severe osteoarthritis they need yeah. surgery but That's i'm cool. talking about the 30 year olds whose lifestyle can be improved right. the correct exercises can be done mm-hmm. and we can you know achieve uh, a status where we can't say we'll avoid falls mm-hmm. we will avoid fractures but we will definitely make the effect of that fall less harmful to the body so here mm-hmm. rujuta i have got news for you tell me n e w s news okay <laughs> it's <laughs> See, as medicos, now we are supposed to be gasus. <laughs> we have to study so much of uh, you know stuff that to remember, I make chota chota mnemonics. Okay. And for osteopenia, uh, you know, uh, yeah. uh, prevention, I've made N E W S. And mm. this is the synthesis where a nutritionist like you and a physician like me can come together. Mm-hmm. So N stands for nutrition. Mm. E stands for exercise in sunshine. so nice. that we get our vitamin d mm-hmm. w stands for weight training Super. now a lot of ladies will say weight training for me why the today's generation is there doing power lifting and bench press and uh, 
but there is a large portion of the community where the ladies will say no do, why do i need the weight i don't want muscles i said no you want bones you want strong bones right so right. n nutrition e for exercise and sunshine w for weight training and s for reluctantly but we need supplements <laughs> sometimes our our diets are not enough especially among the vegetarians right. the protein let's not forget it's not just the calcium and the micronutrients you need a solid protein uh, intake where the protein has to get absorbed go into the system and make the uh, framework of the bone a lot of people just take calcium and vitamin d and think they are done a protein is very very much needed mm-hmm. and for this whole thing to become bone you need a stimulus now mm. this stimulus can come as a walk in the sunshine mm. walking is a weight bearing exercise Mm. and the major part of the human skeleton gets uh, excellent exercise with walking it's not mm. just the hands and uh, the which legs. are moving mm. the core the legs the cervical muscles the whole body when it's standing and balancing itself is mm. getting exercise mm. and weight training so when you create a strong muscle it is creating strong bone so no news is good news no no news is bad news in this bad case <laughs> so so there's a take home message for ladies who are on this program any ws <laughs> well i can tell you the ladies on this program are absolutely loving you if you can look at all the hearts that are popping out you know okay. <laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, how does osteopenia? I mean, you've told us how osteopenia uh, differs from osteoporosis, but how does osteoporosis differ from arthritis? You know, yeah, uh, osteoarthritis. So, mm-hmm. uh, absolutely. So, when we are talking about um, affliction of the bone, it mm-hmm. was osteoporosis and osteopenia. Mm-hmm. Osteoarthritis (OA) mm-hmm. is degeneration of the joints. Oh. and in india the most commonly degenerating joint is our knee joint hmm. uh in the west uh, it's shared by the hip joint and the knee joint but mm-hmm. here uh, we are seeing lots and lots of degenerative osteoarthritis or in simple words uh, ghis jata hai the cartilage the bone has a covering wo hmm. ghis jata hai hmm. and most of the time it is overweight which causes okay. it Hmm. we can have a genetic background mummy ko tha dadi ko tha ghis gaye hain but hmm. we have preventable uh, causes here like obesity uh, hmm. wrong exercise hmm. uh, wrong footwear uh, so many uh, correctables which are there so right. here also i have given a formula today is a day of formula formulas yeah <laughs> <laughs> it is the three s's Mm. the three s's one is be supple mm. be strong and be mm. slim kya baat hai ha so the, mm. once we get these three s's in order why mm. do we need suppleness because the joint starts losing mobility when the degeneration comes in mm. it becomes so bad that pe- people can't wear their trousers they can't bend their knees they mm. can't climb mm. a step they can't get into a car so simple stretching exercises maintain mm. suppleness of the joint mm. again strength strength training for mm. be strong now be strong mentally be strong in your heart but be strong in your muscles and the main muscle which looks after our joint is the quadriceps or the front thigh muscle right and there are such easy exercises uh, if you don't want to go to the gym you could just take a weight cuff tight at your ankle and do leg extensions mm-hmm. in the early stages of osteoarthritis i tell people to do quarter squats nice do a high step walking where you are not uh, pounding you know right right and mm-hmm. where slimness comes the most common excuse they give doctor you see my knees you know they are paining so much how do i exercise i am not buying that Okay. swimming <laughs> karo cycling karo hmm? Hmm. if walking hmm. is painful i think one of the finest investments in hmm. exercise equipment is a stationary cycle hmm. 
if you don't want to go out a stationary mm-hmm. cycle will give excellent exercise to our lower extremity without putting impact on the mm-hmm. knee joint correct so the cycle gives you a gliding movement which mm-hmm. is not harmful to the cartilage mm-hmm. if mm-hmm. you have access now covid times lot of patients give me an excuse doctor i was swimming so well then this uh, pandemic came and now i uh, <laughs> i said do high step walking in your house huh nice. uh, put a mm. nice uh, you know another beautiful investment in mm. fitness is mm. a fitness band now luckily as a i bought a golf watch which has got a superb uh, fitness tracker mm. and mm. even when mm. i'm just walking you know i'm playing games with myself keeping small mm. targets seeing whether my goal has been achieved or not so these are the things which uh, you know we waste money on so many other things but if you buy a cycle you buy good shoes and right. maybe a fitness tracker and i think uh, you will get your money back you won't come to dr nadkani who charges quite a little uh, when you <laughs> well you know but you also do a lot of uh, because when you said three s's the supple strong and slim you also do yeah. the other s which is uh, so many social messages that you uh, send out you know you made a song yeah. for spitting and stuff like that yeah. but yeah. for people to get supple and strong do you also feel that we actually need smart cities or you know simply cities where where people can can walk or cycle without the risk of being run down by a moving vehicle do you think that it's time that as a state or as a country we make investments in better town planning so that uh, people are more um, you know are nudged towards keeping active versus just moving in their cars absolutely uh, today one of the drawbacks of cycling is uh, one or two of my uh, orthopedic surgeon colleagues you know they fell down from the cycle they got knocked down and had fractures and they couldn't do surgeries for months you know right, so right. we have to get away cycling is such a beautiful thing uh, we need dedicated lanes we need discipline in the traffic yes Yes. Uh, now uh, one fantastic thing i live in bandra i just walk down and there's joggers path now right. that invites you to walk correct so if correct. there are more beautiful places like that with greenery flowers uh, ducks in the pond and sea breeze and when you walk a tune comes in your mind you breathe deeply uh, it's bliss and i'm yes. then ready for the surgeries which have to follow in the day absolutely great great but uh, other than walking how else do you unwind because i do know that you play uh, golf in fact i'm yes. sure you're very very good at <laughs> golf but it's also a very high risk sport right i mean most yeah. golfers get up like in land up having some injury or another how do yeah. you ensure that you don't uh, get any injuries while playing golf do you warm up cool down what what absolutely see uh, golf is a leisurely game so when i take out time for the game it begins from stretches which you do at home mm-hmm. it begins with uh, little swing training with swing aids at home so that your body is ready for action there once you go there you have to stretch your muscles you have to warm up and so many times even after the game is over my friends see me stretching in the changing room so stretching after the game is also very important very good now again uh, like in every sport the technique is very important because if your biomechanics are not correct you can mm-hmm. be injury prone so uh, effortless swings um, uh, golf is not as injurious as some of the other games i have played like i have played uh, tennis and mm-hmm. uh, a lot of uh, my tennis colleagues from the past when mm. they get a knee problem i switch them over to golf um, <laughs> okay. because it's definitely much uh, much less injurious but right, for all right. sports i think it is uh, uh, stretching warm up and exercises to build your infrastructure for the game Wonderful. which also involves weight training uh, nutrition mm. Mm. hydration now mm. uh, people take water so casually correct correct uh, many of the slip discs uh, back mm. problems knee mm. problems 
are directly because the water content in their cartilage is less wow. so hydration we are losing water by the minute uh, mm. when we are in a sport and i mm. think uh, it's extremely important that we hydrate ourselves and uh, on a hot day eat a banana or two and get your uh, potassium levels and uh, you know uh, so Absolutely. prevention and uh, maintenance of your body system for a game at whatever level i am a senior golfer i am not competing with tiger woods but whatever little uh, competition we have if we i am me. fitter yeah, yeah, winning and losing happens i enjoy both winning <laughs> nice. uh, is slightly better <laughs> than losing <laughs> but playing the game is very important playing correct. the game is very important correct 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 nice that that was really good we actually have like a whole lot of questions pouring in for you and uh, i wanted to start with asking you some of those are you okay with that sure sure i'm yeah? uh, i'm All free day. okay nice thank you so um, you know there are questions about uh, the cracking noise that you know people are saying well, when i get up sit down i have a cracking noise at my ankle or my knee should yeah. i worry about that you know it's not paining right now but it's cracking um absolutely cracking joints are part of life as mm -hmm. long as there's no pain or uh, it shouldn't relieve a pain also which means to awaaz aala ani mag te dukhna gela you know right. all right. those right. are sounds which need attention but a simple mm -hmm. crackle from your knee you take it as additional percussional rhythm when you are dancing you know the okay. drum baj raha hai enjoy it <laughs> <laughs> okay there's a question on acl what should i do if there is uh, an acl you know can i continue with my sport or you know yeah acl else? for others uh, who may not be uh, you know uh, knowing what it is it is anterior cruciate ligament injury acl is the very important ligament in the knee which people tear while they are playing football or kabaddi or uh, uh, certain mm -hmm. uh, extremely tedious dance movements though i have Uh, seen a lot of uh, you know acl breaks in some of mm -hmm. my colleagues which came out of uh, jazz dancing and you know twisting of the knee during that mm -hmm. so if you are not having symptoms your your knee is not giving way and it is not coming in the way of your life and it's not preventing you from doing things which you want to do mm -hmm. you can have a light body again strong muscles and you can live without an acl but mm -hmm. if the knee keeps popping it mm. keep, you keep losing balance then mm. if you neglect it your knee might go the degeneration way because the knee is getting stresses which it is not used to correct correct and uh, about uh, surgery let me tell you it is arthroscopic surgery and mm. uh, people uh, get back to sport uh, to a very large extent after surgery so don't fear surgery if you need it you must get it done if it is not coming in the way of life then as i said be supple be strong be slim and avoid the things which could put you in trouble like if you are not uh, planning to ski don't start skiing now after you have broken your acl <laughs> okay cool would you say the same about a meniscus tear a uh, meniscus tear uh, with the uh, locking of the joint is a surgical emergency you can't avoid that Mm -hmm. um, i have patients in left knee the same meniscal tear i have not operated the same it looks the same on a mri and the right knee same anatomy of tears uh, i had to operate on the right knee and conserve the left knee so it is such a you know um, gray zone that mm -hmm. who needs it who suffers and who needs surgery and forget not again in meniscal tears with correct physiotherapy footwear a little change in lifestyle uh, i have uh, managed to avoid surgery in a lot of patients it's not that ye ho gaya means you have to get operated compulsory correct no correct, correct. no way wonderful wonderful what about plantar fasciitis a lot of people are saying okay mai you know the lower yeah. end of my foot keeps hurting or every morning when i wake up my foot my feet hurt for 5 minutes and then i'm okay what about those kind of things yeah uh, plantar fasciitis is <coughs> very 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 common i see it mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know maybe three or four patients every day and mm -hmm. um, there are people who don't do anything and it takes its own 
high uh, parabolic curve and mm-hmm. the symptoms die out just as they came in mm-hmm. those people where the symptoms are um, significant mm-hmm. uh, footwear management that is putting an insole inside correctly doing mm-hmm. stretching exercises uh, a short course of anti inflammatory medicines mm-hmm. and if nothing works <laughs> then i gave a steroid injection in the tissue which again uh, people shouldn't get scared of <laughs> um it works it works and a small percentage of people need a release surgery in which we actually cut those fibers which are troubling so uh, that's uh, plantar fasciitis sometimes it can have a bone uh, spur there which is called a calcaneal spur but uh, one need not get scared of that uh, it it's <coughs> Okay that's really good. I'm sorry I think I had some water in my bed bite or something. <coughs> um what about the runners knee? Uh runners knee jumpers knee uh, you know there are so many like a tennis elbow golf elbow they have a cause inside. The runners hmm. knee may have a small hidden meniscus inside tendinitis Uh, mm-hmm. certain uh, tissues which are getting inflamed it could be because of a, a footwear which is not right it's because mm-hmm. of hyperpronation of the feet while running it could be bad biomechanics of the running style itself correct so again technique of running be light before you take up running now this may sound paradoxical but correct. running is something one sh- should not take lightly right a slimmer person will have less chances of getting a runner's knee correct correct so um, do you see a lot of runners with injuries also yes 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 um there's are more chronic injuries there are right. people just right. like there are people who don't exercise mm-hmm. uh, and have problems there are people on the other extreme and okay. we have people like who tell me if you tell me to stop running i'm changing the doctor oh you know they yeah, yeah, that yeah, blunt of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so the runners start uh, getting degeneration in one of the compartments of the knee okay. and then we have to tell them to hold on a bit take mm-hmm. rest let the tissues recover build your muscles consult a good running coach look at your nutrition whether you know you are having any deficiencies and then uh, go ahead if you are very keen on running and there is a meniscal tear get uh, it treated uh, arthroscopically and so many of my people you know on even at professional level they thank me that i won this race i won that race and uh, these are things which uh, give us a big high the doctor said because yeah. of you i am running you know uh, yeah. or it may be the casual runner in joggers park whom i meet uh, and uh, i've operated him 6 or 7 years back and he smiles and uh, raises thumbs up ke sab kuch theek hai you know uh, it's a great high early in the morning so the rest of the day is superb after that <laughs> amazing amazing uh, there are many questions about a slip disc you know uh, what would yeah. you like to say about that okay um all of us have had slip disc sometime or the other i have had it after a very bad swing of the golf club very early mm-hmm. in spite of uh, warming up uh, keeping all the precautions sometimes mm-hmm. the biomechanics goes wrong when that action is happening and mm-hmm. uh, one can get it slip disc is not the end of the world it is a intervertebral disc which has uh, come it's protruding it may irritate the nerve root it may cause neurological problems most of the early slip discs can mm. be rehabilitated very well with posture nice. uh, exercises physiotherapy mm. supplementation mm. simple things like increase your water intake and i've got uh, patients who have been relieved wow ultimately if mm. the disc really troubles we have mm-hmm. now micro discectomies the uh, minimally invasive surgeries 
which mm-hmm. have again put people back into the game uh, or in life so Correct. in the initial stages i tell people to take bed rest there okay. is no substitute for rest and most of the time with rest and non steroidal anti inflammatory medicines the mm-hmm. acute attack of that slip disc comes down and okay. once that happens the physiotherapist takes over proper exercises core muscles shed weight now everywhere uh, the common denominator is uh, <laughs> wazan yeah. kam karo wazan kam karo <laughs> <laughs> right right so yeah. so slip disc can be managed without surgery Uh, but mm-hmm. when push comes to shove and surgery is needed with today's technology and surgical techniques i have seen brilliant results and people have come uh, in fact spine surgeons themselves have undergone spine surgery uh, mm. to you know better their lives so it's like the owner of the restaurant eats here you know that yeah. board so <laughs> the spine surgeon gets his spine operated <laughs> oh that's a nice so what's the importance of uh, physiotherapy is it uh, an absolute must in the prehab rehab uh, post surgical uh, procedures what's the importance of uh, physiotherapy the, really oh physiotherapy is just a fantastic support system mm-hmm. it is a integral part of management in orthopedic conditions Uh, it just like i can't do surgery without an anesthetist uh, i can't uh, treat and rehabilitate people uh, without a physiotherapist so i think in today's modern medicine in orthopedics uh, it is a team work uh, the orthopedic surgeon is there of course we mm-hmm. need a primary physician like the general practitioner to identify the people who need to go to the orthopedic surgeon Right. the orthopedic surgeon needs a very good diagnostic setup an x-ray mri right if the right. person has to be treated then i need a physiotherapist who will explain the exercises give modalities if mm-hmm. the person needs to lose weight you are there there is a in the teamwork the nutritionist comes in and gives the correct dietary advice then mm-hmm. if the it comes to surgery it is the anesthesiologist the surgeon and the support staff in the operation theater i okay. salute them the people who help me just passing the correct instrument in my hand anticipating the next surgical step you know awesome. uh, and awesome. then all these things go on to give a good result to the patient so it is a team work and there is no orthopedic surgeons have a massive ego is what i've heard really? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it is a team work you know yeah yeah no that's no, that's the joke was so nice. um, what is the difference between an orthopedic surgeon and god huh? is god doesn't think he's an orthopedic surgeon <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one oh nice what about the flat foot you know uh, am i bound to get a knee pain because of my flat foot should i wear corrective shoes what kind of exercises should i be doing yeah uh, today with um, excellent technology we can do foot mapping and uh, get computerized uh, information on the weight bat- bearing patterns of the foot mm-hmm. and a customized insole can be made now flat feet with a slight angle at the knees in a young child uh, mm-hmm. can be fully corrected with correct nutrition calcium vitamin d uh, exercises and orthotics which means you correct the flat feet with uh, the correct insoles and mm. you may even correct the knee deformity which is uh, arising out of that so uh, flat feet by themselves will not kill somebody right, uh, right. but uh, it could usher in a skeletal you know axis uh, problems in the future mm-hmm. so when we have the technology now to get uh, the correct insoles mm. so dynamically when you are walking your feet are bearing the weight in the correct uh, fashion nice very good oh uh, there's one more question about a lot of um, you know uh, this is this question is now because of uh, wfh and the pandemic and people are sitting more than ever they are on their screens more than ever and a lot of them seem to be having neck pain and shoulder pain and there are some parents right now on this live who are saying that even their children as little as uh, 10 years of age seem to be having the neck and uh, you know shoulder pain so any tips for that yeah i i'm uh, so happy that so many people are uh, looking at us and listening to us on their uh, devices 
and i hope <laughs> you are sitting correctly uh -huh. uh, all the uh, wonderful people who are with me are you sitting correctly is your buttocks touching the backrest is your spine correctly uh, aligned uh, you are not crouching you are not slouching you are holding the handheld device if you are holding it at eye level so that your head is not bent forward the weight of the head can put amazing stress on the cervical spine so have a small tripod or uh, hold your uh, handheld device to your eye level so that your neck is not at risk uh, sit correctly the, my son is working from home he's uh, mm -hmm. a banker and i see the hours which he puts in oh, so the yeah. best thing just like you have a superb chair in your office you invest in a great chair at home mm -hmm. if you're going to spend so much time on your chair see that that chair fits you like uh, the horoscope of your partner you know <laughs> and the horoscope what we look at in the chair is the height the lumbar support the armrest level if you are working on the computer see that your uh, eyes are level with the screen you are not slouching crouching bending or looking up that's very very so important posture is yeah. extremely important today with schools shut and people uh, young children are uh, working on their uh, online platforms mm. i think the posture i've seen kids my own uh, were lying down like lizards on on their tummy <laughs> with their neck rising up like a cobra <laughs> and they have their laptop in front of that no right. no 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 right. sit sit on a chair sit on a chair have it have a table and uh, please look after your uh, posture and you will not need dr nadkarni or any other orthopedic surgeon you know for a long long time all right one last question after that i'm going to request you to sing for us because i do know that you're uh, great at singing but this, <laughs> question, <laughs> uh, this question is from a housewife she's like all right i'm i'm a housewife i live in a joint family i really don't have the time to exercise or to go out for a walk what can hmm. i do Uh, to keep myself uh, healthy okay so in the book kam sutra i have written that unavoidable exertion can be bonus exercise nice <laughs> so uh, keep your body moving like if you have um, uh, to go to the market walk to the market hmm hmm or hmm. uh, if you okay. are uh, uh, living on the fifth floor uh, don't use the elevator while coming up hmm carry the vegetables up and it will be weight training so you structure your exertion and make it into exercise let us not pyar ko pyar hi rehne do koi naam na do in that way let us let us not say this is exercise and this is exertion correct the day to day correct. activity which you add mobility to it mm -hmm. if you um, have to carry things carry them yourself don't delegate Good. if you have to go walk instead of having a, a bread make chapatis it's a lovely exercise for the yes yes so uh, you can structure in uh, when the uh, pressure cooker is on you can stand 3 feet away from it and do high step marching in the kitchen cool. dal garam ho rahi hai wow. uh, let me uh, improve my uh, my own uh, uh, body correct so correct. Uh, if the time the time which is waiting time in between events you can add mobility there superb that's a great tip that's a great tip and uh, you know there's often a myth that climbing stairs is bad for the knees but uh, you know you see as long as your uh, knees are healthy mm -hmm. uh, climbing has not killed the knees sometimes Correct. descending knees can descending stairs uh, can cause problems on the knee so right. i have a lot of people who use climbing as an exercise and they come down by the elevator and very then good. climb up again nice so climbing up gives you a very good cardiac uh, uh, stimulus it gives mm -hmm. you good breathing and it uh, improves your quadriceps muscles which are your the uh, backbone of your knees as i would call them the Super. strong quadriceps muscles which will protect you so uh, climbing stairs once your knees are troubling you then don't use it as an exercise but okay. as long as you are 
not having knee problems a couple of stairs climbing will definitely give you a little upliftment literally and, and, and prevent knee pain in the long run uh, and keep your weight down and so many yeah, things yeah. yeah of course all of those things but then we don't need to worry about climbing uh, climbing up right i mean if there's no problem please climb up and maybe take the lift down Yes, yes. Uh, as yeah. long as uh, things have not already started already deteriorating. Already started going bad. Yeah. yeah, correct. Cool. Thank you very much. That was a really informative uh, session. We learned a lot of formulas, and now you must, uh, you know, because you're such a good singer, you should also sing a few lines for us. And before you go, you should also tell us where can we get your uh, books? Are they on Amazon? You know. Yeah. Uh, okay. So um, uh, my books are on uh, uh, Kindle. That is Amazon. um real fitness where uh, rujuta model uh, is uh, with times books me problem oh. no problem is with times book kaam okay. sutra published by times of india and how oh. to avoid knee surgery is my self publication which oh, can super. be downloaded from amazon oh lovely how to avoid knee surgery so nice. and now i'm con- making a book called kaam sutra for golf you know kaam sutra for golf that's really yes nice. <laughs> so how does a golfer become you know stress free which is a myth you know when you have to facing a putt on the 18th hole there's so much stress you know more than uh, when i'm doing surgery <laughs> so <laughs> good good it's i'm very happy to know that that you find more stress out there at other places and i know exactly how calm you are every time you're operating you know which is really yeah. what makes you so wonderful <laughs> and phenomenal at uh, what you do but you should now sing for us Okay so I have written uh, two lines on this uh, pandemic so that people oh. can not only hear my voice but uh, also have a parting uh, hmm? shot dur reh kar hi karo baat kareeb na aao <laughs> and uh, I want to break the it's not social distancing it is physical distancing ha huh? jab hum yeah, yeah. phone pe hote hain Uh, when we we can have social bonding and yet mm-hmm. have physical distancing so dur reh kar hi karo baat kareeb na aao aur bigde na ye halat kareeb na aao that was beautiful Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you. See you soon. Informative session, and I hope to see you soon. But for now, we will not be kareeb. We will just see each other like this online. So thank you very much for see the talk. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.